math today, money, coins, coin combinations, and equivalencies. I have some questions for you. How many pennies would you trade for a nickel? Five pennies, because one penny, a penny equals one cent. One, two, three, four, five. Five cents equals one nickel, which is also worth five cents. You would trade five pennies for one nickel. How many nickels would you trade for a dime? Two nickels. Why? Because a dime equals 10 cents. The value of a dime is 10 cents. And one nickel equals 5 cents. So 5 plus 5 equals, equals 10. Two nickel or one nickel plus one nickel equals 10 or one dime. How many nickels would you trade for a quarter? Five nickels. Why? Well, we know that one nickel equals five cents, so we count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, 20, 25, 5 nickels equals 25 cents, and that will get us our 1 quarter, which is worth 25 cents as well. 5 nickels, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 equals 25 cents, and we can trade that for 1 quarter, which is also worth 25 cents. How many dimes would you trade for a dollar? Ten dimes. Why? One dime is worth ten cents, so the value of a dime is 10 cents. If we count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, count with me, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, or one dollar. One dollar is equal to 100 cents. One dollar is equal to 100 cents. 10 dimes is equal to 100 cents or one dollar. So if you have 10 dimes, you have one dollar or 100 cents. If I wanted to buy an orange, what are two different ways that I could show coin combinations for the price of an orange? The orange costs 18 cents. What are two different ways to show 18 cents? And let's say not 18 pennies. What are other ways to show the price besides 18 pennies? Two different ways. So when I am going to write this out, I'm going to start off with my biggest coin first. And I know I can't use a quarter because 18 is smaller than 25. So I'm going to use my next biggest coin, which is going to be a dime. I'm going to draw one dime. 
And so far I have 10 cents. I have 10. I'm going to draw my next biggest. A nickel. And I know that 10 plus 5 equals 15. 16. 17. 18. I know that I couldn't draw two dimes right here because two dimes would equal 20 cents and 18 is smaller than 20. So I had to write a nickel next because that was my next biggest coin. And when I was at 15, I had to then go to my next smallest coin or my next biggest coin, and that was a penny because 15 is just three smaller than 18. So I have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. How else can I show 18? Well, I look at my dime, and I know that my dime is made up of two nickels. So instead of drawing a dime, I'm going to write two nickels plus my nickel from up here. So now I have three nickels. That's five. Oops. Five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So I have shown eighteen cents two different ways. What about if I wanted to do that again, but I wanted to buy a cabbage? And a cabbage costs 40 cents. So I want to show how I could buy ca cabbage for 40 cents two different ways with coins. So just like before, I'm going to start with my biggest coin first. And I know that this time I can use a quarter first because 25 is smaller than 40 cents or 40. So I'm going to draw a quarter first. And so far I have 25. And then I know I cannot draw another quarter because two quarters is worth 50 cents. And 40 is smaller than 50. So I'm going to do my next biggest coin. And I'm going to draw a dime. The dime is worth 10. So 25 plus 10 is 35. I'm getting very close to 40. 25 plus 10 is 35. I know that 35 is only 5 away from 40. And I just only have to draw one coin for that. And I can draw a nickel. 25, 35, 40. So I have shown 40 cents with only 3 coins. And why don't I show 40 cents another way? I can show it. I'm going to start with another coin. I could show it with a dime, 10, 20, 30, 40. That's another way to show 40 cents with four dimes because I can count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40.